now available on e-readers everywhere. From the author of the Simp Trilogy, Stop Simping, Why Men Don't Need Finance to Get Romance, Manginas, They Look Like Men But They Act Like Ladies, and The Misadventures of Captain Sable Holcombs, Stop Simping in the Workplace. Learn what mistakes not to make with women and protect your job with Stop Simping in the Workplace, available on e-readers everywhere. A couple of days ago, Bill O'Reilly was fired from Fox News, and the reason why he was terminated had to do with allegations of sexual harassment. Now, I have no love for Bill O'Reilly because the guy is a racist, and he has gone out of his way to incite hatred of black people on his show, The O'Reilly Factor, and he's gone out of his way to malign people like Bill Cosby for his affairs with women outside of his marriage. And that makes him a hypocrite because here is this individual who is pretty much going out of his way to malign Bill Cosby for his affairs, and meanwhile, he is participating in his own affairs in the workplace. Now, while I have no love for this Bill O'Reilly, I see a lot of lessons that many men of all races can, be, can learn from this Bill O'Reilly incident. And these are lessons that I taught in my new ebook, Stop Simping in the Workplace. And when I look at Bill O'Reilly, he is a textbook case of a workplace simp. And what happens to workplace simps is that these guys pretty much think with their penis and they go out here and they get involved with females on the job and that pretty much screws them right out of their position. Because when it comes down to these guys like Bill O'Reilly, they don't understand the old adage that their grandfathers and their fathers taught them in the 20th century. And that adage is, don't crap where you eat. And the reason why fathers taught this to their sons is because when a man goes into the workplace, he has to understand that there are certain boundaries that he has to respect. And one of the boundaries a man has to respect in the workplace has to do with his interactions with women. So he has to set a hard boundary and say, I am not going to socially interact with these females outside of this job. Whenever I am involved with the females on the job, I am going to keep it professional. And whenever you do this, you are setting a hard boundary that protects you from these females, especially these predatory females. And this is what happened to Bill O'Reilly. He got involved with these predatory females, and they pretty much devoured him right now. That's pretty much what happened to him, and he didn't see what was going to happen to him because when it came down to Bill O'Reilly, again, he was thinking with his penis, and he pretty much screwed himself because he was playing Candyland, and these females were playing chess with him. He was sitting there, getting on the air, bashing up black people, but he couldn't see the white women pretty much getting ready to put the knife right in his back. And the hardest lesson that your workplace simp like Bill O'Reilly usually has to learn has to do with this. Now, your Bill O'Reilly pretty much walked himself right into a workplace side piece situation. And in a workplace side piece situation, usually most of these guys, what they do, because they are thinking with their penis, is they go and they get involved with females on the job. And when they get involved with these females on the job, they wind up getting sexually involved with them. And while they're getting sexually involved with them, they're out here making promises to these females in the hopes of keeping them involved with them. And unfortunately, what these guys don't see in the big picture is that whenever they do this, getting involved with these females, these females are pretty much gaining leverage over them. And because they are gaining leverage over them, they pretty much gain an advantage over these guys that they use to move themselves ahead at their expense. Unfortunately, these guys are so short-sighted in thinking about getting the atomic waste from between these females' legs that they can't see the big picture or the knife about to be thrust in their backs. Whenever it comes down to guys like Bill O'Reilly, all they're thinking about is they're getting the attention of these women, and they're pretty much caught up in the short skirts these females have on, the, all, the possibility that they don't have any underwear under their skirts, or the cleavage in their blouses. And because all they're looking at is the possibility of getting sex out of these females, they can't take care of business for themselves. And that's what Bill O'Reilly got messed up on. 
he wasn't thinking about the big picture for his career at Fox News. All he was doing was getting caught up in his emotions regarding racism and getting caught up in his emotions regarding these white females who were pretty much young and attractive and he, at the time pretty much looking like an easy way to get laid. Unfortunately, as these women got older and spent time around him, they were gaining more and more leverage over Bill O'Reilly. And eventually, when they saw that they were getting too old to use their looks to get things out of men, they decided to play the checkmate on Bill O'Reilly by filing these allegations of sexual harassment against him. And the reason why they filed those allegations of sexual harassment against him wasn't because he was creating a hostile environment. It was to get a payday out of 21st Century Fox, the new company run by Rupert Murdoch's sons. Now, Rupert Murdoch's sons are a pair of manginas who pretty much don't see the big picture regarding the game that these females are getting ready to run on them. The reason why these females pretty much filed that sexual harassment lawsuit, again, is because they saw that the management was changing, they saw the business model was changing, and they saw a way to get a payday for themselves because as the corporate culture of Fox News was going to change, they knew that because they were older women in their 40s and in their 50s, that they weren't going to have a place in that organization. So they used Bill O'Reilly as a scapegoat to get themselves a payday. This is no different than the old females who made all of those false allegations against Bill Cosby talking about assault. The reason why they were going after Bill Cosby again was because they wanted a big payday at Bill Cosby's expense. Now you see, the big thing with, when it comes down to a lot of these gold digging females is that when it when they, whenever they start getting older, they know they can't use their looks to attract simps. And they know that the simp pool, as women get older, gets smaller. And because the simp pool is getting smaller, they are not getting more opportunities to get resources. Their opportunities at resources is actually starting to dwindle. So they're going out looking for one last big payday to fund their retirement. And when they looked at Bill O'Reilly, they saw an opportunity to get that kind of payday. The irony is, is that while this man was making campaigns to smear Bill Cosby, these white women were pretty much laying out a battle plan to pretty much malign him in the same way and get the same type of resources at his expense. Now, when it comes down to Bill O'Reilly, he got played in the exact same way that Bill Cosby was being set up to be played by these females. And the reason why these guys get played is because these guys, again, are thinking with their penis and they're playing Candyland. Meanwhile, these females out here are playing chess. And the way they are playing chess is setting up a long-term strategy to pretty much get, their, get themselves taken care of at the expense of a company or an individual. Because that's what happens in a workplace side piece situation. These females know that they pretty much have these guys by the testicles because he's too busy thinking about get, screwing with this female to think about his long-term future and his long-term career. He's thinking about his short-term needs with this attractive female in this skirt and heels, not thinking about the big picture and the long-term picture of his career. Now, Bill O'Reilly lost his job at Fox News, but I don't think he will be gone for too long. What's going to happen to him is what happened to Don Imus. Imus was fired, and then a couple of months later, Imus was back on another radio station. The guy is just too big of a draw. Unfortunately, he doesn't understand that when you drop your draws with these females in the office, it just leads to a situation where you wind up in a bunch of crap. And that's what leads to these guys being messed up in the workplace. Whenever you're in the workplace, again, you have to keep it professional and you have to maintain your professional distance. Because when it comes down to predatory females, they're going to look for any opportunity to gain an advantage at your expense. And one of the ways they use to get in an advantage at your expense is by dressing up 
in sexy clothes to get your attention in the hopes of enticing you into a relationship with them. And then when you get into that relationship with them, you wind up in a complicated situation where you either have to resign or you wind up getting fired because this female pretty much is holding these sexual allegations over you like the Sword of Damocles and that allegation can pretty much destroy your career long term. This is why smart men don't get involved with females on the job. They maintain their professional distance and whenever a female tries to say something to them they set that hard line in the sand letting them, that woman know that they are all about work, all about business, and there's nothing personal going to go on here at all. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.